Oh yeah, sorry. So let's go and talk again real quick. I want to go into the standard form of a quadratic form or quadratic equation. But before I get to that, let's talk about a linear equation. So a linear equation, when we talk about linear equations, most people are familiar with, oh, slope intercept form, right? You know, y equals mx plus b, or maybe even point slope form you're familiar with. And we don't touch as much uh, with the linear standard equation form, which is ax plus by equals c. But it is important for us to understand when we have an equation in this format, certain ways to graph it and also to be able to find the slope and the y-intercept. But for a linear standard equation, that's what we have. And I'm going to write, keep that up there because when we're talking about a quadratic, we also have another standard form. And there, is, there are going to be other formats. If you remember, when we had standard form, we don't really use standard form as much. We like to graph it. We like using slope-intercept form. Or if we're given like a couple points, we like using point-slope form. But for a quadratic, when we're given an equation in standard form, there is ways that we can use this, but also we can also transform it to other forms. So it's important for us to understand what quadratic form is, or the standard form for quadratic, which is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Now notice in a quadratic, we have one linear term, which is like our linear term here. And we also have, well, actually two linear terms. But then we also have a, a squared terms. And that's where we're going to get our term a quadratic. All right, And then all we're also going to have our c as our constant. So it's important for us to understand that a and b are real numbers. All right, Those are what we call our coefficients. Right? Think of like uh, you know, 3x. 3 is the coefficient of x. So a and b are going to be your coefficients. And c, I'm sorry, I don't know why I didn't say c, a, b, and c are real numbers. All right? So remember, c is going to be our constant. That just means it's not going to be attached to a variable um, factor. And then the most important thing about our standard form is a cannot equal 0. And the reason why a cannot equal 0, well, if a equals 0, then 0 times x squared would just be 0, therefore meaning we wouldn't have a squared term. Well, if we didn't have a squared term, we're just left again with another linear equation. So the main important thing about quadratic, the standard form of quadratic, is right here. You need to remember a, b, and c are your real numbers, and a cannot equal 0. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your standard form of the quadratic equation. Thanks.